census desensitizing mm. the mainstream. And then the poor will have to steal, and then we put them in private prisons so they can work for us for nothing. Slavery comes back. Hey, the rich, that they, they like that better than outsourcing because now they get inmates that for any stupid crime like the young girl who couldn't afford to pay her her, her parking tickets and she go. was put in prison and she's a, a slave now there you go. for the corporation there you go privatized prisons oh yeah but you know if, if you compare Bernie Sanders to Hillary Clinton you would see that everything she's against and everything she's for is not that of a progressive candidate. Yeah, it because she's not. not a progressive candidate. Right. But now, and hardly anybody in the Democratic Party, you, you'd have a hard time pointing out one uh, who is a progressive. It is no longer the yeah. party of progressives. Yeah, you got... They are um, corporatists, <laughs> they are whatever. And then you got these, 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 uh, um, these feminists that all they care about is putting a woman in the White House. Well, that is a very selfish agenda, to say the least. Instead of thinking of the overall picture, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. Instead of thinking of the good. Well, we have all we've always had. We've always had a problem of picking the right one. Okay. Because people are not thinking logically and 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 paying attention to it. They rather uh, post photos of their of their kittens and cats and dogs and children and and what they have for uh, lunch and dinner but they don't care about politics damn I is a goat <laughs> don't you ever see that commercial for Optimum um maybe I didn't I don't think you did because you ain't laughing at it they set up they set up, it's Optimum, Optimum Online, you know? Right. They set it all up, and then the guy says, Gamma is a go! And then it comes up, the Wi-Fi or whatever they're, they're hooking up, and Gamma's uh, on the Wi-Fi, on a Skype or something, and the kid, the little baby's over there uh, on the other Skype, and, and Gamma's going, oh, making man. the kid laugh. Oh. That's it, man. It's all about Gamma. It's all, it's all about today's American imbeciles. <coughs> the de-evolution, like the, the group Devo. De-evolution of society. Now, speaking of, let us sink our teeth into these readings. Oh yeah, when the goddamn uh, guy, the furnace comes on. Oh, I didn't plan that. Oh, uh, you did so. Let me check the time. <laughs> we had a long pre-New Year's Eve banter. During the recent Democratic presidential debate, Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders described starkly different philosophies on national security and domestic issues. On foreign policy, Sanders called Clinton an interventionist who continually wants to depose dictators overseas without considering what comes next. Clinton voted for the Iraq War that deposed Saddam Hussein and created ISIS. Yeah, you get rid of one dictator and uh, you end up with a un very unstable country. She urged President Obama to attack Libya and depose Muammar Gaddafi. By the way, did you know that under Muammar Gaddafi there was free schooling, free health care, ba 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 Everything was paid for it. There was no ISIS there either. There was no ISIS there. This but is you know Americans don't like that stuff. We don't like the government paying for stuff for free. But, but they Only like you people. But they like to get the handouts to rich Republicans that do nothing but take vacations from Congress. They like to get the rich, uh, the free handouts. Okay. Yeah, now, now you were talking about Momar. This is not uh, Larry, Larry, Larry Mar or Curly Mar. It's Momar. Okay. 
And now, Clinton wants to depose Bashar Assad of Syria, which would create yet another home for ISIS. Sanders does not generally favor interventional intervention, international intervention. International intervention. And touted his role in opposing the war in Iraq which he called one of the worst foreign policy blunders in the country's history. And, and wasted the most taxpayers' money than probably any other blunder, spending blunder, in U.S. history. Sanders says the United States should not fight Assad and ISIS at the same time. The and first task is to bring countries together to destroy ISIS. Yeah, and why was uh, Netanyahu, the other right-wing scum, why was Netanyahu's Israeli troops chatting in a friendly manner with ISIS troops at the border? Interesting. So was McCain. So was McCain. You notice how all these things conveniently are never mentioned by the U.S. media? Of course not. The, the, the mainstream, lamestream media. The debate also revealed big differences between Clinton and Sanders on domestic policies. In response to a question, Clinton could not say that big business doesn't like her. And for good reason. Wall Street and the big banks love Hillary and, I also, and Bill Clinton. And I also heard all these uh, major cable news networks are big contributors to uh, Hillary Clinton's campaign. Now, no wonder why their personnel was always saying Hillary won the debate. Hands down. I mean, all of them. Uh, exactly. CNN. CNN um, as soon as the debate is over, those, those guys weigh in. And that, and that pencil neck geek, that scrawny necked, uh, effeminate George Stephanopoulos was kissing Hillary's ass up and down. They all were, actually. Because both Clintons have been helping big business make more and more money at our expense since 1993. For that reason, since 1989, the two biggest contributors to Clinton's senatorial and presidential campaigns have been Citigroup and Goldman Sachs. With Goldman Sachs actually having had a fundraiser for her in 2008. Clinton wants to continue her failed neocon hawkish policy. And she has a very close relationship with Wall Street. While Sanders has always been fighting for democratic issues. For a Democrat voter, the choice is clear. Sanders for president. Yeah. I say the same thing. I say the same thing. Feel the burn in 2016. Feel the burn. Democratic socialism all the way. And I also would like to dedicate this pre-New Year's Eve 2016 show. I want to dedicate it to all of America's unions. In this case, the United States Postal Service, the Postal Union, here's a very nice uh, die-hard uh, metallic cast, die-hard cast, die-cast die replica of a uh, United States Postal truck. So I salute all unions, go union, all of them, every one of them, all right? And the United States uh, Postal Service as well as Bernie Sanders for president. Go Union. Support your unions, every one of them. 
All right. And, um, oh, what I didn't say yet is I want to dedicate, not dedicate, I want to say greetings to my near dear friend in Osaka, Japan, Miho. Hello, Miho. I would like to send uh, greetings, holiday greetings to my Facebook uh, administrators, the, the top ones, Mr. Sasha Boyle, uh, Mr. Um, Anthony Aurora, Mick Von Raven, um, all of it really. Um, and uh, I want to. Um, oh gosh. Yeah, I don't have to, I don't have that many really administrators left because an administrator must be proactive and dedicated, like yours truly, James P. Madonna. You know, they, they can't just be like a, a bystander. You know, uh, just posting on their own group. They have to contribute, uh, show leadership qualities. Um, Read the newsletter. Yeah, read the newsletter. Get your free annual subscription with your gift to support this work. Newslettercensor.com. Oh, I want to do a quick Chisler's Hall of Shame. Shame on you, all the companies, all the American companies that make batteries. I don't care if they're AAA batteries, AA batteries, D batteries. You all suck. They're, they're, they, they all have obvious built-in obsolescence. Every time I put a new battery in my LED flashlights, I don't use the flashlight that often. Usually when I need to find something, it mysteriously goes dead rather quickly. Which means they're just like appliances burn out quickly. And, and they all seem to be made, made by American companies. Mm -hmm. um, there's a pattern here, a pattern of deliberate built-in obsolescence in batteries. So I will be using my rechargeable battery uh, kit and uh, I just won't be a victim anymore of this, uh, of this uh, corrupt, unregulated un, um, uh, uh, dishonest capitalism we have under the Republican Congress. You know, so that's it. Chisler's Hall of Shame. All American companies that make batteries. Um, trying to think about the. Nah, you know what? That's about it. That, that's really about it. Uh, oh, I want to say hello to my friend, uh, 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 a fine man from uh, Wisconsin, a, a, uh, a dedicated uh, progressive, uh, Mr. Glenn uh, uh, Bain. Mr. Glenn Bain. Um, greetings. Uh, and of course, uh, Evelyn Pringle is also from Wisconsin. You know, it's amazing how a um, a traditional blue state turned so red as far as the voters in Wisconsin go. It's just a, it's puzzling. Same thing with New Jersey. Um, um, I think New Hampshire and Rhode Island. Does New Hampshire have a Republican governor or a, or a no Democrat? No idea. No. I know Vermont is still a blue state. No idea. Anyway. Shame on, on you voters for jumping ship. Jumping the blue ship for the red ship. All right, continue. Stephen Colbert may not respect much of what Donald Trump says, but he does admire the Republicans' ability to craft the message that many voters are responding to. The message, yes, yeah, sure. 
there is a populism to Trump that I find very appealing, Colbert said. On an interview to be shown on CBS's Face the Nation on Sunday. And it's only this. The party elders want him to go away. Big time. But the people have decided that he's not going to. Well, that's how. That's what. That's why he has so much charisma because he's he's uh, uh, invoking feelings that are already in these um, individuals that live way out yonder in them da. Uh, in them the uh, right wing states. The Tea Party people, because yes. they don't like the established candidates like McCain and Romney, you know, and then they lose. They want a, a conservative, a real conservative. They want a, ra they want a radical. Right wing. Or don't not, use that word. No, not radical. I'm tired of them using that word wrongly. Extremists. There you they, go. They want extreme. Uh, a conservatism, which you might as well call a fascism. Mm -hmm. The Late Show host, like most late-night comedians, has feasted on the New York businessman's campaign. And he makes it clear that he disagrees with many of Trump's more than a little shocking policy proposals. But his ability to attract support in the face of establishment rejection is the one saving grace of his candidacy. After a fast start in September, Colbert's been sagging in the ratings oh, against really? competi competitors like Jimmy Fallon and Jimmy Kimmel. Well, I mean, Stephen Colbert, he's he's pre he's pretty damn good, but he's no David Letterman. I think um, I don't know John John Stewart. I heard he ca I heard he came back or is coming back, but uh, I know Colbert. He uh, he has like a dry sense of humor. Yeah, yeah. It's a uh, it's a uh, sarcasm. I would say like a, no like a. Like a UK, like a, a British. Yeah, he's not a British like, uh, type of humor. He's not like you know slapstick. Uh, Monty Python. Yeah, he's, he's not uh, not a Monty Python. He doesn't have the uh, comedic charisma and the personality to really get you cracking up. You know, like like in other words, uh, uh, Steve Ferguson, the Scottish man, has a comedic charisma he has the personality to you just look at him and his facial expression and you laugh before he opens his mouth because, because that's that's how he is but Stephen Colbert pretty much has uh, I mean he smiles but he has like a poker face when it comes to his comedy you know laid back a poll found Colbert is more popular among Democrats than Republicans, perhaps a vestige of his character as a blowhard political commentator on Comedy Central's The Colbert Report. Well, Colbert is, is, I used to think he was moderate, but I think he's more to the left. Moderate? He was playing a conservative. In other words, he was doing satire. Yes. And a lot of idiot uh, teabaggers thought he was That's a fellow correct. teabagger. That's correct. They didn't, <laughs> they didn't believe, they didn't recognize the satire. They never do. They don't recognize satire, they don't recognize sarcasm. They don't recognize logic. Okay? They, oh, he's one of us, he's one of us, you know. Colbert said, uh, told uh, the Face the Nation moderator John Dickerson that one of the reasons he ended the Colbert Report was a sense that people were getting tired of divisiveness. Well, whether you're tired of divisiveness, divisiveness or not, we have 
more divisiveness now compared to any other time in history. That's we right. have the divisiveness and it's growing. So being tired of it doesn't seem to be changing the, the reality of it. No. Yeah. You know, I mean, uh, Donald Trump certainly helped with the divisiveness, uh, but he only played upon the uh, feelings of hatred that were already there in these particular Americans. This yeah, but that kind of divisiveness is on the on a scale down. It's the problem in the House Republicans that can cause damage to the absolute the a, the actual country. You know what I'm well, saying? They care more about their agenda. That's correct. Than they do about the country. That's correct. The the good of the country. That is correct, sir. And 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 it's not just sabotaging President Obama. It's uh, it's not just racism. It's it's the agenda of perhaps instilling a, a one world, new world order government. Uh, 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 no, 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 Enslaving no, no. the population. No, 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 no. Uh, it's just having their way and cutting government down. On the yeah. side that helps people, not the military well, because side, they're, they're et because honestly, they're just paid off. You know, they're they're representing. Well, that's their ideology. Now. They're I mean, that's not paid off. They you get mean, paid off to carry through their ideology. You mean they they actually ideology. they actually like that is one of their and, beliefs and believe in their stupid unproven ideology. Yes, 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 yes. So you don't think it's you think people are reading too much into it when they start talking about uh, secret societies, one world governments, NWOs? Absolutely. Uh, you don't think they're, they're that sophisticated with their agenda? No. The Mitch McConnell's, the Paul Ryan's. Their agenda is to hurt the little guy, period. But what about the, what about the agenda of the privatized prisons? That's they, to hurt the little guy. Who do you think is going yeah. into the prison? I think that's pretty serious. It is serious. Uh, uh, taking people for minor crimes and... It's and serious that the United States is number one in incarcerating yeah. its people. Yeah. Number one. Against right. China. Against Russia. Come on! And they're getting free labor from it also. We are going Gee. to... We are going to break for lunch during our pre-New uh, Year's uh, 2016 show. Pre. All right, we'll see it. We'll see it. Yeah, prenup. We're signing a prenup here. Yes, and uh, okay. uh, if all goes well, um, you will hear from. Uh, I hope so. I hope we, we don't have technical difficulties this week. But you, you, we hopefully you will hear from our voiceover artist William Hamilton Morrow the Third with promo. Oh boy! And his words of wisdom: If everything goes well. Oh boy. This has been a Mega Life 21 production. Hi, this is William H. Morrow. The best way to join our organization is to get your free annual subscription to Newsletter Censored with your gift to support this work. The newsletter of hard-hitting truth and news-fighting censorship and conservative propaganda since 1977. There is nothing out there like the newsletter censored in the mainstream media or the press. This newsletter is the very best way to join and be a part of our organization. We're living the end times, so you need Newsletter Censored. Go to www.newslettercensored.com. Hi, I'm William Morrow. Wake up, people, because the truth is often, very often, a very, very hard pill to swallow. Hey, listen, for the real hard-hitting truth, you need Newsletter Censored. And now, back to the show. Bye-bye.